You're watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he says nobody should be wearing a loose fitting denture. With us, we have Chicago's Premier Center, the founder of Chicago's Premier Center for Implant Dentistry, Dr. Irfan Acha. Dr. Acha, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you for having me over again, Randy. So we've had you on the program, what, like 10 years ago? Correct. was the first appearance. So what's changed since then? Because you said, you know, we talked on the phone, you said a lot has changed. What? Randy, a dramatic, dramatic improvements, lots of change in the 10 years. Uh, first of all, I realized in the last 10 years that the patients that, I, that I've been treating or, and continuing to treat, they need the service. They need the service even more than ever before. Okay. We're able to now take what used to take months, 10 months uh, of planning and, and having the care completed. Now we can literally do it in several visits. So the treatment time has gone down much faster, uh, slower in terms of like- You getting, say like in three like, like three appointments, they get their brand new teeth. Absolutely. If everything works out. Absolutely, everything works out and we get everything planned. Between the surgery and having their teeth, it could literally be done in, in three visits. So it's, it's amazing how dramatically things have improved. So in the old days, there was an issue with bone. Uh, we used to have patients come to us and say, you know, doctor, I was told I don't have enough bone, uh, I'm gonna need bone grafting, or I'm not a good candidate for implants. That could be the case because maybe it could, it could be the experience level of the clinics, uh, maybe the imaging uh, was, not, uh, was not up to par. But when we patients come to our office, we're able to take a scan, and our scan sexes tell us an accurate representation if they have good bone or if they don't have good bone. And most patients will not leave my office with some sort of an option with implants. And you're using like these special implants for people with limited bone. Absolutely. Is that correct? I mean, you're one of the guys, one of the few guys. One of the few, one of the few doctors that are using special implants, especially for the upper jaw when they don't have minimal to no jaw bone. So who is the typical implant patient that you see? So Randy, a typical implant patient that comes see us is A, that are headed for dentures. People that have uh, basically failing teeth, uh, decayed teeth, uh, they are in pain, their teeth are, are there, they can't smile, they can't chew. Uh, their self-esteem is impacted. They're hiding their smile when they talk to their friends and family. But they're in constant pain and agony because they don't think they have any hope available. Uh, they, because they've been told that they're not a good candidate. That's one. And majority of these patients have been told that they're not a good candidate for implants. They can only have dentures. But when they come to us, when they meet, when they meet me and I go over the options, they can actually have implants and teeth literally a week after. Week, week later. So somebody watching this, with no teeth, or even with really bad teeth, if everything goes right, next week they could have a next new set week, of teeth that don't come out. Absolutely, they can have teeth the next week, they can stay in their mouth and they can enjoy the quality of life, eat the foods and smile and they don't have to hide those, those bad teeth. And Randy, the second group is the denture wearers. The, they've been wearing dentures for, for 10, 15, 20 years and they're done, they think they're done. They have their dentures in the mouth, they're done, but you know that's the farthest from the truth. This is where they suffer. They suffer because they can't taste their food. The upper denture holds up there. It, it, uh, it, it opens up, the, it, it actually closes the palate. So you can't taste your food. Uh, when they're talking with, with their friends and family or they're playing with their grandkids, the denture falls out. So it's an embarrassment. And most importantly, they're rapidly losing jaw bones. So they're, they're constantly, their mouth just completely continues to shrink. But those, their face sinks in. Absolutely, their face sinks in because the bone is shrinking. And, okay. and a lot of them, they don't know because nobody tells them that as they, the longer and longer they stay with dentures, they're gonna to continue to lose bone and their face is gonna to continue to shrink. And, and then, then that they feel that they have no options. So with the, especially with the denture words, we can help them. We can help them immediately. It's as minimal as four implants per jaw. They can have full set of fixed teeth, permanent teeth that don't come out. And You say it's hard to get the denture wearers to come in. Why? The reason why, Randy, is because they feel that there's no need. They feel that once they have their denture, their dental problems are gone. But now it starts a new series of problems. You know, bone loss, face loss. They can't chew their food. They can barely chew their food. Okay. And they're, they're literally like mushing their foods and, and swallowing. And then they have a lot of these patients have a lot of stomach problems. They have a lot of other health issues because they can't eat their foods properly. Okay, okay. And these are people that, same kind of thing? I mean, even if you've been wearing a, a denture for 10, 15 years, you could still be a candidate for this? Absolutely. To get new teeth. Like in one day, like like the day of the surgery, they walk in with no teeth, they walk out with teeth. Is that true? That is absolutely true. We make it happen. Rare? Every, rare? It happens to us. We do it every single day. We do it all the time. Okay. Now, this is not like a recognized specialty, but this is your focus. It's like this is all you do. 
That is, is all. Is that I right? Do. All you do is implants. All I do is implants. All I do is implants, and I specifically the patients that need full top and bottom. And most of these people are sedated, right? You say they barely even remember the procedure. They do. They they barely remember any part of the procedure because they're either they're they're completely under general anesthesia or they're they're sedated, and that's the best part because the, a lot of these patients are fearful. Fear is what held these people back from getting the ideal care in the mouth. You say that a lot of that, that what you because I asked you in the green room and you said the number one thing holding them back. Is fear. they're afraid. It's like a hassle. Right. Is that what they tell you? Th this number one reason why people put it off is because they've had their fear. Well, what if the fear came from? Fear came from either an early childhood, they had traumatic experience, or into their adolescence, they've had a really negative experience at the dental office in their traditional dentistry, whether it's drilling, fillings, crowns, and root canals, and they've had really, really negative experiences. So they're tired. They give it up. They give it up. And then they're like, once they give up, neglect took over, and now everything is just falling apart. And these are the people that come to us, so then we're, we're giving them hope. We're giving them a smile. We're, we're literally doing it in, in, in a shorter period of time and doing it in one office, one team, one doctor, which makes the experience go much, much um, efficient for our patients. Now, we said at the top of the show, no more dentures. Do you think you, that the future of dentistry, well, I don't know, 50 years, 100 years, that nobody will be wearing dentures as we know them today? They'll all be attached to something like implants? Absolutely. I think it's already happening now. I think the changes has, has happened. I think not now more and more people are, are aware that they don't have to have dentures like their parents or their grandparents did. Now almost everybody has some sort of an option to have teeth that are supported by implants. Okay. Yeah, but what if you have like gum disease, you know, the, the bad gums? Can you still get implants? Absolutely. This, these, are, these are about, say, 50 to 60% of the patients I treat, Randy, is a lot of our patients come in, they have advanced gum disease. Their teeth are loose. Their teeth are hurting. They've already gone through a lot of gum surgeries and, and have already gone through traditional cleanings. We're at, a, we're at the point of no return. We're at the end of the road. So now what we're going to do, either just, you know, just not do anything or they're going to have dentures, but they don't want dentures. They want teeth. They want teeth that they can eat, they can chew, they can smile, they can bite into nuts, they can bite into corn on the cob and not have to worry about it. And hassle-free, that's what they want. They want hassle-free. They want to be able to get up in the morning, brush and go to work, enjoy the time. Not even spouse. think about it. Yeah, not even think about it. That's what patients want. So, uh, Randy, when you take out the bad teeth, the gums and the bone gets very, very healthy. Okay. Uh, it eliminates the infection. And the, in, the infection is what causes a, uh, uh, an inflammatory response that causes a bad immunity. So okay. once the bad teeth are out, their immune system heals. And they're ha they have healthy, healthy teeth, health, uh, and not only healthy teeth, they have healthy gums, they have healthy bone. That's when we place the implants, this, the day the teeth come out, okay. and then they can leave with fixed teeth. You know, we, we have medical doctors on this show, and, and uh, one uh, famous medical doctor from Los Angeles, that part of his protocol for getting healthy is you've got to make sure that if you have a bacterial infection in your mouth, you've got to get rid of it. Absolutely. It is so, so this important. has become mainstream now. It has absolutely become mainstream. I will add something to it. I have a lot of patients right now that are getting hip and knee replaced uh, this time of the year. And hip and knee replaced. Hip and knee replaced okay. this time okay. of the year. And a lot of them are coming and getting their teeth done because they have, health, they, have, they have broken teeth, they have damaged teeth, they have unhealthy gum tissue, but they, with the gum disease, their, or their, their doctors want them to be oh, taken really? care of before they have their, their, their hip and knee surgeries done. Okay, how old can you be to get this done? Like what's your oldest patient that you've given a brand new set of teeth supported by implants? Randy, age has never been a, a, a barrier in our office. I, my oldest patient is 92 years old. Why would a 92 year old want to do this? Well, Randy, 92 year old is, is there's never an age in our office for the barrier, but uh, everything revolves around food. Every day, a 92, point, if you're that age, yeah. 92 year old, unlike, just like another 25 year old, they want to eat their foods. They don't want to live with bad teeth. They don't want to leave with dentures. They don't want to have ill-fitting partials of dentures and, and broken teeth. They want teeth that stay in their mouth, that look good, feel good, and it's gonna last them a long time. So with this 92 year old that you did, how did it go? It went phenomenally well. Were you a little nervous during this? Yeah, night? you know, we're, it's, it's, it's always good to be a little nervous because then you're, you're, you're doing it, you're, you're putting every, your care and attention to every patient. Okay. But when the, the, the patient was done, the patient was so happy, not only she was happy, her family was happy. Her family, her, she comes from a family of healthcare providers. And they were very happy that, that they were, we were able to help the mother. So when a 92-year-old can do it, like 80s young? Absolutely. Like no, no problem for it. Did you ever have patients go, Doc, I'm, am I too old? Patients think that way, that they might be. The people in their 60s and 70s and 80s think that they're too old. But if they're healthy enough, they have enough bone, they're a very good candidate. So in the dental good. literature or whatever you guys have, I mean, is the data there that it doesn't matter how old you are? There is no data that says that. You have to you, that you can get implants when you're, you're 70, 80, or 90 years old. 
you have good bone, you have good medical history, if you are a good medical candidate, absolutely you are a good candidate for implants. You can do it, good. Okay, so you brought some photos. What are we looking at here? And these are pretty dramatic, by the way. I did, these are very dramatic photos. Here, so here's one of a young, a young, a really young patient of ours. Wow. Patient, again, this patient came to us because patient was very fearful. Fear is what put this patient off from either fixing his teeth or going to the dentist, dental for cleaning, but that's lost, caused the loss of all his, all his teeth to really, really become decay and have combination of gum, gum disease and tooth decay. The symptoms this young man had was bleeding gums, red gums. He had an active infection, active infection from broken teeth that were decayed okay. and active infection from the gum disease. All right. and, and he was just tired of it. His wife brought him. His wife has been very supportive. His wife brought him. His option was, and he was in his 30s, so he was headed towards dentures. And he, him and his wife, did not want to have dentures. He wanted to have something permanent, and he wanted to have it done so that way he's able to live another 10, 15, 20 years and, and enjoy the time with his family. Now, the, the denture, if he had with the denture, he would not have been happy. So then look what we did for him. Okay, let's take a look. Look at his afters. Wow, that's the same guy. He Looking had good. full upper all on four implants, four implants on the top, four implants on the bottom. And he has this beautiful set of teeth that he is very happy. And when we give him his, on the day of the surgery, when we gave him a mirror, okay. I mean, I kid you not, the patient was, there was a tear of, just a, just a tear of happiness, tear of happiness. It was just one of the very amazing moments that I felt and, and her, he felt and his wife and my whole team felt that it was so happy, it was so emotional that he's never seen himself like this. And, and their breath, you say, changes because they, when you have this gum disease, you say it affects your breath. Absolutely. So that goes away. He's got great breath now. Well, the bacteria is gone. The gum, the infection is gone. So now the breath is the breath is, is normal. The breath doesn't st- doesn't smell anymore. Okay. And do they tell you eating stories all the time? Now this guy hasn't hasn't had had hard stuff. Like for example, uh, corn on the cob, a steak. Okay. Even even nuts and cashews. And when when he comes in, he talks about he can go to a a, a nice steak restaurant in, in in Chicago and have a big huge porterhouse and just really enjoy him and put his teeth through it. <laughs> And, and he doesn't have to worry about pain. He doesn't have to worry about excusing himself and going to the bathroom and, and put some oral gel because his teeth are hurting because his, his gums are so red and puffy and they're bleeding. So it's a, it's a dramatic improvement in, in how he can eat his food. Is that common that the wives, you know, the, the husband's nagging so much about their teeth that the wife drags them in to get this done? Does you that know, happen a lot? It happens because the wife has, has so much care and love and support for the husband okay. because they want the husband to have a quality of life. And I've seen that over and over and over again. I see the, I see the other way around too. Randy, I had a, a young patient, uh, the wife, that came in first. Um, she had failing teeth, she had broken teeth, and she had gum disease. And her option was a denture, and she didn't want to have a denture. Okay. So we gave her, we took, the bad teeth were removed, we put in implants on, in her upper jaw, and we gave her teeth that stay in her mouth that don't come out. Okay. And she was very happy. When she was so happy, she brought her husband, and the husband actually needed top and bottom. So right. we were able to help him to get his the full the entire mouth done. You know, we talked about this. You know, it's like when you think of your retirement, you don't think of your retirement bringing your denture with you no, on cruises or vacations or whatever. Absolutely, because I guess eating becomes more important as you get older. At any age, eating is important, and you don't want to you don't want to do it when you're retiring. You want to do it when you're at an age where you can get it done, and so that way you can enjoy your retirement. You don't want to go through it with a denture when you're retired. Now, Chicago's a pretty healthy place. I mean, are there really that many people either headed for a denture or wearing a denture? I mean, is this prevalent? I mean, I'm seeing some really bad teeth here. I mean, is this all around us? Randy, all it, around is, you guys? it is all around us. We just don't see them because you never see them smile. You never okay, see them good smile. point. Yeah, you never see them smile. There could be people walking down the street of Chicago, and I don't know, it could be the person that I could visit in the grocery store, or it could be at, at a, a, a friend's party. People just don't talk about it. Can you spot it as a dentist, people that are kind of hiding their smile? I, I, I can. Sometimes I can. If they're hiding their smile, or you can just usually tell that they, they, they'll ask you a few questions about what you do and, and what are implants, or you kind of tell like that I think they're going to need some help. Absolutely. Okay, good. Do you have more photos? I do, I do. And I want you to look at this All really, right. really, really drastic okay. before. Oh, my goodness. Yes, this is, this is incredible. So when you see the after, it's going to blow you away as to what okay. we've done with okay. this patient. So what was going on with him? So with this patient, he had, again, infection. He had uh, bad teeth, uh, extensive decay, uh, teeth that were loose, very bad breath, and just overall pain, red gums, puffy gums, bleeding gums, very, very typical symptoms. And it was beyond the point there where we couldn't even touch his mouth because it okay. was so painful. All right. Um, he had was told by many, many, many clinics that 
he cannot have implants done because in his upper jaw, it's pretty much, the infection is pretty much eating up his bone. He doesn't have much bone left and he's gonna to have to have dentures. And he was told that he shouldn't have implants done because if he gets implants done, then they're gonna also fail. But we studied the case and I sat with him and I gave him hope. I said, we have worked with many patients like you. There are patients like you that I've treated thousand times over year after year we can also help you. Yes, your upper jaw requires a little more special work because you're gonna require some special implants because you don't have enough bone, but we can help you with that. And your lower jaw, we can place four to five implants and you can leave with a beautiful set of teeth that will not come out. And we can get this done for you in the, in the next week or two. Okay, good. So that, that's him over there? That's him over there and you look at believe he looked how like amazing this he looks. How amazing he looks. Very nice. But look how nice the teeth look. They follow the, the cosmetic part of what my team and I can deliver. The smile design, how the lip follow, the, the teeth follow the lip line. There's like a they, lip, they, they, they seem to perfectly fit. Perfectly fit his face. This is one of the things that our patients talk about when they look at our before and after pictures that we have on our social media sites. They, are, they love the fact that every patient does not have big teeth, small teeth. The teeth fit their specific face because we take a lot of pride into into customizing, a, a, a designing a smile for that patient. Is this done on a computer? Or what? It is, it is done okay. on a computer. It is done digitally. We digitally design a person's smile based on their facial features, based on their overall look, uh, based on their personality to see what fit, what teeth would bet fit their face on the surgery, surgery day. And also if they wanna take their teeth up a notch to a different smile design when they get their, their, their second set of teeth. Now we haven't talked about your training, but, but you've kind of traveled, you said all over the world to learn implant dentistry, even in Brazil, where like, I guess one of the pioneers, is there that much to it? There's a lot to it. Why There's, are you still doing it all the time? I mean, is, there, is it changing that much? You know, Randy, the, the learning never stops. Uh, so I'm always, I'm, always, I'm always making sure that I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lifetime learner. Because you can learn so much from different courses, I could travel to Brazil and learn how I can place implants in patients with very minimal bone. So I'm always reaching out to see out the best mentors and, and, and the best training when it comes to full mouth implant dentistry. The, 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 the profession in, in implant dentistry, the field is changing rapidly. Okay. And what that does is it allows me to bring back to my office, my center, and give, give streamlined results and absolutely make it even more, even more streamlined and to reduce the treatment time for my patients. And that's what these, my busy Good. patients want. Good. Okay, time for a few more. Okay. So I have another patient, Randy. Look how, how, how drastic this, after, this before picture is. Yeah. Um, this patient has no teeth left on the upper jaw. He's got only two or three teeth left. And his lower teeth are completely, completely all decaying or, and he's losing teeth. So he's got no bone. He's got no, he's got no bite established. All he's, what is he doing? He's mushing his food. He's in his 30s. But wait till you see how he looks like when, he, when we're done. Okay, okay. Very nice. So again, for him, it was a big life changer. It, this, is, this is not an any ordinary dental procedure. It's a life changer. In one visit, in one appointment, under sedation, we were able to remove all the, all the damaged teeth on the top, all the damaged teeth on the bottom, place implants, and give him a, a customized smile design that fit his face, which he's happy about. So his smile looks amazing, but you know what? It's, this is not even his full potential because- What do you mean? Well, because all his life, you know, he hasn't smiled because he had no teeth on the top and his teeth were, were feeling on the bottom. So after the 20th time when he gets a compliment that you look amazing, your smile looks great, <laughs> he's gonna be smiling so much for pictures. He's gonna be taking so many selfies that a lot of, a lot of his friends are gonna defriend him from Facebook. From Facebook. Too many selfies. Too right. many selfies. And a lot of patients do that once they have their smile back. All right, so I have another patient. I have another patient who came to me very upset with his wife. And I'll tell you he was very upset. He was, came very skeptical. Okay. Came very skeptical. He was told that he's not a candidate for implants. His dentist told him that he shouldn't get his implants done. So he came to me because based on what he's read about what I could do, when he came in, he wouldn't even look me in the eye until I have to say, sir, please talk to me. I want to help you. Tell me what's, you know. And that's when he really came out and said, look, it's, it's not about the money. It's not about the fear. I just been told, I've been, I've been told that I cannot get implants because I don't have enough bone. What can and his you wife kind of forced him to go to you? His, like at least get a second opinion kind of a thing? His wife sought us out and his wife was such a nice person. She okay. was very, very nurturing and very loving and understanding. And she told me that don't take him personally, just just make sure you, you show what you can do for him. 
That's good. And I will tell you, when he now, when he comes in, <laughs> he takes pictures with us all the time because he's so happy. And this is this, this is the person that, again, I'll show you. This is his, his one other before with no teeth on the top. I mean, only four or five teeth on the top and no bone and lower teeth are just failing to a person that looks. Wow, very nice. Yeah, I mean, look, his his teeth, his smile looks amazing. It will soften up after a while, but he looks amazing. He's smiling more, and he's not that person where he was before. And he was so appreciative that he said, Doctor, I wish I would have done it sooner. I'll tell you another story. He went back to his dentist and showed the, showed the picture, and before and after pictures and the x-rays. And his dentist was so amazed that his dentist actually called me and That's said good. that it's amazing that you were able to help this patient. That's so good. it was such a, it was a great feeling to and help And this is patient. another guy that would have ended up in a traditional denture. A traditional denture, absolutely. And that's what he wanted because he was a gagger. So what do they like more? Do they like the way it looks or do they like what they can eat? Well, they, they, they want, just want to have a nice smile. They just want to look good and okay. they want to be able to smile. But once they attain that, now they're able to, secondarily, they're now, they're, now they're able to eat better. They're able to eat the broccoli. They're able to eat salad. They haven't had salad in, in years. They are able to, they're able to put their, their, their mouth into corn on the cob and not worry about their teeth falling out or their teeth breaking. So it's a it's a dramatic, they convert. They first they want a nice smile, but then they convert to, wow, doctor, I can eat my foods. My, That's good. My, my, my blood sugar has improved. My health has improved because I can eat better. I look happier and healthier. So I have another another great uh, patient over here who uh, was a woman who lost all her teeth. And wait till you see what we did for her in here. Look at what, look what her after looks like. It is incredible. Wow, this is very nice. Because in that before, she looks like a, a very a much older person. She did. She did. And look what we did for her. We, we placed four implants on the top. We placed four implants on the bottom. And we made teeth that would fit her face because she, it was very important to her. Because, because she wanted to be able to, her, her face was sinking in. And she was not getting the nutrition because food, eating was way, 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 way difficult for her. Because all she was doing was just, just smushing her food and eating softer foods. So she had lost a lot of weight. So now she's getting back to normalcy, quality of life, hope. And she's smiling a lot more. Randy, let me show you another patient. Let me show okay. you this one. Oh, wow. And you see a lot of this. I see this all the time, every okay. single day. This patient has rampant decay, teeth that are breaking, teeth that are failing, and again, fear. Fear is what kept her from getting, getting the care done. So, and wait till you see how she looks. She looks okay. amazing. She looks incredible. I mean, just a beautiful oh, person. Oh, wow. Very nice. Thank you, Randy. This is, the, this is a person that would typically be wearing a denture or walk around with, with, with plastic in her mouth but not in our office. We gave her fixed permanent teeth that don't come out and she was very happy and she actually referred a lot of patients to us. I mean, when, when I look at the before and after, I mean, when she sees herself in the mirror, I mean, this must be pretty emotional for it's anybody. It's very emotional. It's life-changing. It is absolutely life-changing for them and their family members as well. Now we have another patient. We have another All patient. Right. This is one that was referred to me by my colleague. Okay. Right? The patient has no teeth. The patient has no teeth. The patient has been wearing dentures. Actually, the patient had three sets of dentures made. Patients would not wear dentures because anything that touches her mouth, it just which she cannot have plastic in her mouth. Okay. She's been like to gag, gag, kind of okay. uh, just choke, uh, just did not want anything foreign coming in her mouth. Do you ever get excited, like somebody that comes in? I'm sorry to interrupt, but you know somebody's telling you their hard luck story. But do you ever think they have no idea how good this is going to be? Does that ever happen in your head? When you're talking to them? You know, I, I let them know that, you know, they may not be, they don't know how their quality of life is going to change. But once they hear stories from our, from our existing patients, once they, sh once they see before and after pictures of similar patients we've treated, they absolutely, they know that this is something that they need. Okay, to good, good, good. So it really helps them. All right. So this lady is that person. And wait, <laughs> wait till you see what we did for her. That's <laughs> good. These are good. She looks happy, that's for sure. She looks very happy because she was turned down by multiple, multiple, multiple doctors and multiple clinics who actually, and she lost hope. So when she was referred to me by my colleague and I sat with her and her husband, again, very supportive spouse, we were able to do the specialized implants, two on each side. And these are, these are very, very, one of my most challenging cases that I have taken on because you can, you don't, you, you need specialized training. Not many clinic, not many clinics or clinicians have this specialized training to, to take care of somebody that has minimal limited, to no, bone. limited okay. bone on the top, very limited bone on the top. But with specialized implants, we were able to give a fixed permanent teeth on the top, fixed permanent teeth on the bottom, and she is, look, look how happy she is. She's incredible. <laughs> so we have about a minute left. Um, we're short on time. Can I show you a couple more? Yes, we have time. All right, so we'll here's rush another. you a little bit. Yeah, so here's, here's another one. Look, um, upper teeth that are completely failing, lower, no lower teeth. So again, no way, to, no way to smile, no way to eat, but wait till, you, we see, wait till you see what he looks like now. <laughs> Look at him now. 
beautiful right. white That's teeth. That's a young guy. He is. He's young. So the, young people are wearing dentures out there. I know this isn't a denture, but I'm saying there are young people wearing dentures. There are. There are a lot of young patients that are not only wearing dentures, but there are a lot of young people that have failing teeth and they don't know what to do about it. And I will tell you, more than 50% of my practice, these are these young patients that have failing teeth, that are losing teeth, that have gum disease and that have broken teeth that cannot be saved and they don't want to end up with a denture. They want fixed permanent teeth and they want it in one office, one doctor, one team and they don't have to go all over the town. So these should last as long as regular teeth would last, as long as you take care Absolutely. of them? Absolutely. So long this as guy could have these teeth until his 80s, 90s possibly? Absolutely. As long as he takes care of him, this will last for a long, for a long time. And we, can I show you another yeah, one? Yeah. Here's another one. Another one that, that traveled quite a bit distance who came to us uh, with, with gum disease. Gum disease and needed a full top and bottom. And this is the day of the surgery. And this is what the patients look like all in one she day. looks great. It looks absolutely wonderful. Very nice. You say people, a lot of people travel to see you, like get on a plane to see you. Like, and you serve several states. Absolutely, Randy. Pa patients, come from all, patients come from all over. Patients come from our surrounding states, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, from Michigan, from Ohio, from Indiana, uh, from uh, Michigan. Uh, from Kentucky, and I do get patients from New York, from Georgia. So I do patients do come from all over, and patients will fly all over to get come see us because they want to they want to experience the difference. So you have like a fly in, fly out program. Absolutely, kind of thing. absolutely, and we we recommend the, the hotel that they stay in, which is well close to our office, and it's we have it we make it a great experience for them. Okay, good, and and just for people just tuning in, literally somebody watching this, the worst teeth, bad teeth, or even wearing a denture, if everything goes right. Next week, they could have a brand new set of teeth that don't come out. Absolutely. Next week, they can have a brand new set of teeth that don't come out, and then they're going to be very, very happy with so they don't have to live with bad teeth or they don't have to live with dentures. Okay. Okay. Time for one more. Just one, one more? more? All right. So one, one more. Another, another patient that just had old, a lot of crowns. I see a lot of patients with old crown and bridge that are failing. And these, these people don't do anything because they're, they don't know what to do. They don't want like to end up with a denture. Up? It's covered up because there's, there's, there's puffy gums, red gums, and this person had a bite issue. This bite was like this, but the patient wanted to make sure the patient had a perfect smile. And look what we did for this patient. Patient looked incredibly amazing. Very and again, nice. she was brought by her supportive spouse, supportive spouse that wanted the best for his wife. And She's very happy with the results. Now, we're going to get emails about this. People always say, yeah, but you know, it, does insurance cover this? Because you were mentioning even the best insurance only covers a small part. Medicare, Medicaid doesn't really cover this. So what's the answer? The answer is, uh, Randy, patients are financing it. Patients are financing it. Is that it. right? Absolutely. Patients are financing it. If they have good to excellent credit, they can finance it and they can just make a monthly payment. And you do it right there. Well, you I have, handle this I in your office. I have two full-time dedicated people that can help patients get this finance. Absolutely. Okay. And it's a process that's very easy. So now there's no more excuses. There's you even have no sedation, right? So they don't even remember the procedure. We have sedation. We have anesthesia. And the patients are, are, are comfortable. We're literally out of time. But yeah. final message to a person watching this, maybe they're the two groups. They have really bad teeth right. and they're headed for a denture and they don't want one or the denture wear. But let's say they've heard what you had to say, but they're still skeptical. What do you say to them? I'd say come in for a consultation. Give our office a call. Come in for a consultation. Meet with me. Let us do a 3D scan to give you what your options are. Because with, if you don't know, you don't know what you don't know. And if you come in, you will be able to, you'll be surprised that, that you, you will see what we could do for you for a lot of patients that initially were told that they're not a good candidate. But as you saw from all these pictures, that they are actually having fixed teeth in their mouth and they don't have to live with bad teeth or they don't have to resort to dentures. Dr. Acha, we're out of time. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Pleasure being here. Thanks for having me, Brandy. All right. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.